All right, it's our fault. My fault. We were the band who brought down the 80s. <laughs> By 1992, the highly sexualized pop metal party had, almost in the blink of an eye, vanished. Fans and record companies had turned their attention to Seattle and a less frivolous aesthetic that owed more to the Sex Pistols than to Kiss. When we released the record Cherry Pie, um, in, our, in, in the office of Columbia, in New York, over the president's desk, Donnie Honor's desk, his secretary's desk, actually. There was a huge poster of Cherry Pie, you know, and it, that was a big ego boost or stroke to the band to know that you're a priority at such a, a huge label. And, uh, and then when we were going to release the next record, which was called Doggy Dog, I did the exact same trip to New York <clears throat> to talk with Donnie. And over his secretary's desk was a huge poster again, only this time it was Alice in Chains' Dirt. And I was like, hmm, I think we slipped down the priority ladder here a little bit. And that was, that was one of the, the very first signs. Uh. <laughs> it got to the point where it was like, okay, every rock band that came out in the 80s sucked, has no reason to live, and should not be on this planet. And there's no way they can possibly do anything worthwhile or viable in the 90s. So let's just burn them all at the stake. 